welcome guys to another video um, in today's video I'll talk about how to identify if when you get in situations when you get anxiety or are anxious and how to um, like calm yourself down and um, like make a wise decision decision in those situations hit the subscribe button because i'm dropping you videos regularly so i hope you enjoyed this and let's keep this video going So, um, not the key point, but things uh, or you feel it sometimes. I mean, for example, if you want to hit the gym for the first time, you get like you, you start to overthink a bit. Like it's t it goes a bit into the type of overthinking, and then you're like, oh no, what are going? What are these other gym dudes and? gym girls going to think about you as a newbie in the gym or will I be good what's going to happen is it dangerous will I um, get an accident by that or things like that so anxiety comes in there and you just like you make your chest small your heart rate goes up and uh, yeah you're just like losing all the positive thoughts and getting into a negative habit like like not confronting that anxiety and saying like oh I'll rather stay back home and then you decide not to hit the gym so that's like an example when you get anxious so like and like not symptoms but also like when your chest gets small your heart rate goes up things like that these are all signs for um for anxiety but also overthinking so uh, how can we change that like that we don't overthink and um, like what actions can you take to stop overthinking uh, and getting in that anxiety path um, is like I I am struggling with that still it's not like that I I mean like I said we people all grow all like keep growing so this is just to, some advice I had I did to learn how I can improve it myself so I want to give those tips to you calm myself down and take two to three deep breaths like Even, even if I'm discussing something with someone or in an argument with someone, I'll just take those deep breaths, calm myself down to like, I guess, just to take your um, heart rate down. And that also already helps quite a lot if you get your heart rate down. So that is tip number one. And then I mean the first step back the second one is when you or I do it I read every single morning something down what I'm grateful for that can be like I have food I have clean water and then always that thing pops into my mind uh, because I mean I'm in those situations where I'm already a bit anxious and my chest is getting small and things like that so I always feel like okay wait a minute Will I lose the clean water from these incident? Will I lose the food I've got? Will I lose things like that? Like uh, make my brain to to think that it's not not going to have like a very bad impact or something. I'm just getting anxious about those feelings, like distracted of what I 
actually oneself also in those situations you lose the the positivity and you have negative faults so you need to get that positivity back to make a wise decision which is also step number three to make a wise decision you need to be calm have those deep breaths and stay relaxed to just be yourself to make a wise decision in that moment because if you finally calm yourself down and confront those anxieties you realize like starting this channel I was <laughs> it took me so long to start it but I was like what, what will I lose like the only thing is I'll get some comments in my environment who will say like what are you doing why are you starting you and things like that but that's how you build up that resistance also that you want to make changes and not stay comfortable in your zone and that's where the anxiety hits you the most because when you're comfortable for a long time it makes it more difficult to get out of there so uh, yeah just keep those three steps in mind breathing write down something positive in the morning and then make a wise decision So these were the three key points or three steps I want to tell you if anxiety hits you like it did with me and I hope you can take something out of there. Hit the subscribe button as I told you in the beginning of the video and I'll see you guys in the next one.